So it looks like this exam that they like to ask you a lot of factoring questions and how to simplify rational expressions. So just make sure that you practice enough questions on you know doing the factorings, uh, work with fractions, rational expressions, things like that. Question fourteen. I have nine minus x squared over x minus three. I need to see which of the following is the same as that. And it says that for all x less than negative three. Don't let this bother you too much. Okay. Whenever they say something like this, they just want to make sure that this is a legit question. For example, um, if x is less than negative three, right? Then that will make sure that the denominator is not equal to zero. Right, because x has to be like negative five, negative ten, things like that. That would make sure that x that will make sure that the denominator is not a result of zero. So that's the reason why. But don't let that bother you too much. Let me just do the simplification. Okay, now let me let us just do the simplification. Nine minus x squared over x minus three. So I want to put on some notes on the side. So the first thing is Notice the top. I have nine minus x squared, and isn't it the case that we always like to like we always um we always like to have the x in the front and then the number in the back, right? So sometimes uh, when things are out of order, just like this, and let me write this. If I have some number, let's say b minus a. If something is kind of like out of order, we can actually switch the order when we have a subtraction. So instead of b minus a, right, we want to write this a minus b. This is okay, but the one more one more thing that you have to pay attention to is you need to put a negative and then put a parenthesis around it. If you switch the order of subtraction, that's okay, but the result will be a negative. Okay, so that's the first note that we want to point it out. So on the top, as I can see that nine minus x squared. I don't like that. I want to have x squared minus nine. That's totally okay, but you need to make sure that the result is negative. So that's my first step. Okay, that's my first step. Then and then the second step. Uh, this question is similar to question number thirteen. We need to see how to factor out the top. The bottom there's nothing much that we can do, right? So to factor out x squared minus nine. Two term factorings, and this is actually a perfect. This is actually a difference of two squares. So, if you have a square minus b square, I can write this as a plus b times a minus b. This is the factoring for、um, difference of two squares. And、uh, let me just probably write it down right here, for this one right here. So if you have x square minus nine. We can look at this as I have x square and then minus. I can write the nine as three square, three square. And as you can see that this right here is exactly in this form, right in this format. So I can just do the first plus the second times the first minus the second. So this is equal to, okay, x plus no. Three. I want to make sure all my colors is correct, and then x minus three. So this is what's going to happen. This is going. This is how we are going to factor、um, this parentheses right here. X square minus nine. We still have a negative on outside, so let me carry a negative right here. X square minus nine becomes this. X plus three. X minus three. If you want, if you want to write x minus three first and then x plus three, that's totally fine. Multiplication doesn't matter the order. Over at the bottom, x minus three, and I can put an invisible parenthesis around the x minus three, and as we can see that this x minus three on the top and this x minus three on the bottom, they are exactly the same. So I can cancel, cancel, and then I get negative parenthesis x plus three. Over one, which is just this by itself, and let me see if that's the answer. Well,、uh, it looks like this. Nothing that has a parenthesis for the answer. Right here, I have negative x plus three. I need to do one more steps. 
I need to take the negative and then multiply it inside, distribute it inside. Negative times x is negative x, negative times positive 3 is negative 3. So negative x minus 3, that's answer choice E. And I got it.